How about Cup Hand Adventure? There he is. I don't know if this is Cup Hand or Shot Glass Bro. You can see the very different characters. Of course, this one is is um you you need uh you need to watch an ad to get the character. Show ad and get person. Well, maybe I don't feel like torturing myself just yet. Ooh, these characters are pretty sweet. Never mind. I really like this guy. Yep. Yep. What? Well, what's that? You wanted sound effects? I'm sorry, you don't get sound effects, motherfucker. Watch an ad for the sound effects. This appears to be the entire game. Look at those nice... Look at the faces on the tree stumps. This is just fucking blasphemy. Think about all the work that went into Cuphead. Think about the years of animation. The yearing, drawing. And this is what we get on the, um... The Google Play Store. Like, I don't even know how the report system works. I don't know if you can just say, listen, this game is obviously in Fringe Arena. It's, it's bad. Can we get rid of it? Like, I'm just not sure. What else can I say? Really, what else can I say? This is cup handed and I already want to die. I already want to die. It says here, this is cup hand and head adventure. I'm not even kidding. Cup hand and head. Oh my fucking god. Like, these games make loot boxes not even look that bad in comparison. We have no choice but to watch this now. I wonder if I'll get paid for fucking accidentally showing you advertisements that other influencers are getting paid thousands of dollars for. Yeah, like, I should- I should email War Robots and be like, Bitch, you owe me a check. Something went wrong. Yeah, you- you could say that again. Just get hit by a taxi. It's fine. But wow, what is the fuck this? What is the fuck? This is gonna- this is like a goat simulator parody, I think. Yep. Here it is. Successful Kickstarter. Do I- do I need to say anything more? I think my job is done. You can just fly. You can just fly. It's not a problem. Whatever you want to do. You- you fly, you cup, you head, you cup hand head adventure. <laughs> you know, it would be even funnier if I didn't want to... If I didn't want to inject cyanide into my pee hole. You didn't hear that from me, though. But yeah, I, it would be, like, really interesting. Like, oh man, you know, I can't wait for that new Cuphead game to come out. It looked really cool. It looked like old 1930s animation. And, you know, after the first trailer... This... Is what... Something went wrong. Man, a truer statement has never been uttered. It's almost as if this game is self-aware. But how could it be? This is a, a reskin of many games I've played on Android Shitshow. You have to understand, it's the same game over and over and over again. With a couple of different functions, just reskinned. With the latest, like, Thad. Which is, um, a mix of Thad plus... ...thing. You know, a lot of, like, stock animations, just, like, you know, buy Unity, get the stuff, put it in a game, quick, we're gonna make a couple bucks. Even if no one buys this, they're still making money because advertisers are putting their ads. As I said, it's like a fucking pyramid scheme of advertisements. This game is advertising probably on another game that no one's playing, and then another game that no one's playing is advertising on another game that no one's playing, and there's just an infinite, like, loop. It's just a feedback loop of advertisements. I don't know where the money's coming from. It's just like money is being pulled out of thin air to make these games and then advertise them on each other's games. It's a weird fucking thing that I can't wrap my head around. Babies. That's where the money's coming from. Babies who have access to their parent's cell phone who just go in there and buy the game and then the parents wonder why their credit card is out like 400 bucks in a month. Here's Monkey Maze 3. And again, I don't hate on Unity as an engine. I th a lot of amazing games were made in Unity. Wasn't fucking Cuphead itself made in Unity? But that should show you, like, the, the great disparity of having such powerful entry-level tools. Are right, you ready for Monkey Maze? Are we having fun yet? This appears to be the whole game. At least we get some sick fucking jungle rhythm. This is rivaling Jungle Japes as best monkey-themed song. David Wise is jealous. 3D Neighbor. So we're not done with the neighbor stuff yet. 3D Neighbor House Escape is the name of this one. 
Look at that motherfucker. Holy shit, that's a genuinely scary neighbor. Do, do I really need to add my account here? <laughs> email leaked. That's how people email me. <laughs> I Wow. This is just this is just a ripoff of Hello Neighbor. This isn't even like a veiled attempt. It's the same house, but just worse graphics. What the fuck? Look at the neighbor. <laughs> oh fuck, Hamburg? Oh, that was a cheeseburg, actually. Maybe I can go over there and give the neighbor the cheeseburg and he'll like me and we can be friends. That's all I've ever wanted. There it is. I did it. I've, I've brought the neighbor a cheeseburg. I, I'm still surprised how many clones this game is getting. Like, I didn't think this would- a game like this would warrant so many fucking copycat games. Yeah, this is the best soundtrack of 2017 by far. <laughs> you can't catch me. I've outsmarted the neighbor. Damn it. Oh, I just saw blood. Did you see that over there in that region? I'm pretty sure my dude just it explodes when he's caught. <laughs> No. I'm, I'm sorry, what's this? Oh, because he's a creepy weird neighbor guy. He's got many of the same painting. That's how you know he's creepy and weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to- No, 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 this is my property now, asshole. Whoa! Whoa, that is uncalled for. What the fuck? He doesn't have any animation. That is a genuinely creepy- <laughs> That is a genuinely creepy neighbor. Holy shit. Look at him. Oh my god, he's ascending. Oh my god! This is scarier than any of the Spooptober stuff I played this year. Okay, now you're invading my house. You are now on my property in my house, stuck on my ceiling. I, I win. Guess what? I win. Okay? This is what you get for breaking and entering. Now you stay stuck to the ceiling, and I'm gonna go rob your house. Outwitted again. Well. The only problem is, I, I don't really have anything I want to do in here, so... Any potential business I had is now come to an end. My quarrel was with the neighbor, not his house. Guess we can go home. Oh no. How'd you get out of there? How'd you get out?! No! That was angry neighbor. This also won't be worth it. This is Baby Daisy face painting. Yep. The Play Store has taken the worst of Flash games, the worst of shovelware, the worst of bootlegs, the worst of everything. Com put, combined it and put it all in one place. Look at that. Oh, oh, what's that? You want to play the game? No, no, no. Here's an ad. I'm scared. Chat, I'm scared. What am I doing? A am I, like, cutting her eyes out? Dumbass I am. Can't even figure out how to play baby games. I believe, yeah, I'm on track to gouge out baby Daisy Face's eyes. Aren't we having fun? I'm I'm aborting. Abort. Baby Lissy Beach. Which one of you fucking sadists sent me this shit? You get a whole one frame per two seconds. I don't even understand what genre of game this is. What the fuck? Is th this isn't a game? This is just drag the thing over to the other thing and close the car doors? <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. I'm bailing. I- you gotta know when to count your losses. That's why we're gonna play Baby Lissy Dough Cake. This is the most recognizable character in video games since Super Mario. Trust me. It's like you don't even have to find the stuff on your own. It just points to where it is. Yeah, I, I can't- I can't be bothered with Baby Lissy. That's why we're gonna do Beauty Cat Salon. No. No.
it's happening already. I just started streaming a little while ago, and it's already happening. My brain, my eyes are rolling into my brain. I can see my brain. What, what is happening? I don't understand! I feel numb. I've been playing games my whole life, but never one like this. What? But why is this cat girl jostling that poor cat? Like, I don't understand the point of this. And how? Cat Sim. Assumedly is a cat simulator. Only Android games have the power to make me hate ducks. Almost 50% of the playable characters are not cats. That's why we're going with Sammy. Holy shit, is Sammy inside that mech? Damn, this game is a lot more hardcore than I thought. I'm ready. Welcome to Cat Simulator, let's learn how to play. Have fun. H have fun, the game says. Yeah, Cat Simulator. This is what it's like. Yeah, I can wall jump. The power of wall jumping, I can get to any location. Perhaps I can escape the boundaries of this third dimensional realm. Try and Nope. Yes! Yes! It is done! I've escaped! It was a bad idea. Endless nothing for the rest of forever. That's what Sammy will be met with. Some say a fate worse than a traditional hell. Forever floating beyond the boundaries of the mortal realm to ruminate upon its transgressions against humanity. Chiku Adventure is next. Oh, okay. The enemies are donuts. Wow, look at that animations. It's like Wario. Ah, fuck off. Christmas Santa Roller Coaster 3D. Did you see Thick Thrust on the previous character? Like, we already have a character called Heath Thick. We don't need another one. But did you see that? It was like Wario Thrust. Yeah, I mean, it is November 6th at the moment. So, yeah, technically we're already in Christmas. A wretched experience. Look at the thrill. I'm leaving it. You know what? We're doing a full throttle up. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> Looks like Christmas is canceled this year, but don't worry about it. We got some cars, motherfucker. Put your pedal to the metal here in uh fuck face the game with the car, the man. Super Bruno World. Now would probably be a good time for a funny voice and a loud, outrageous exclamation. Bruno. You're beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you you can't be a brother. If you want to be a Mario brother and you really put your mind to it, you can be one. So, this game and this stream I dedicate to all the unknown brothers out in the world. Oh, that's just straight up infringement. Wow, I mean, I was gonna say this looks a little bit too close to Mario 64, but maybe they could get away with it. No, it's just straight up. It's just straight up Mario. I guess they forgot to add the cannon. Well, why would you? Wow. Stolen sound effects. Stolen assets. This... truly is... the king of shitty Android games. Nintendo, if you're watching, go, you know, I'm cool. Listen, I'm helping you. Take this out. <laughs> Take this one out. <laughs> oh my god! It's the bomb battlefield! But with none of the fun. Also, Bruno is jacked. Look at this fucking dude's arms. 
What you don't realize is I'm just playing Super Mario Odyssey. And this is a costume for Mario. And we're in a throwback world. Why don't his shoulders move? Um, well, you see, he's almost a Final Fantasy VII character. He's just got a couple extra polygons to be Final Fantasy VII character. But Bruno was one of the Shinra soldiers. So when you're in the parade segment, right, in Junin, when you have to make Cloud do all the dances as the soldier so you can get, or not the, the formations, the formations, Bruno was one of the soldiers on the sidelines who was doing the formations as well. And then he quit Shinra and decided to become an adventurer. But then he took a, an a, a, um, he took too many Adderall. And now he's dead. But only on the inside. His body still is animated. He can still move through sheer force of will alone. But he feels nothing. Um, and there's no intellect. It's all instinct. Someone in chat just said, this is by far the worst Mario brother. You know, I kind of felt bad for Bruno because he's such a piece of shit cunt that I was hoping maybe he could find some happiness in his life. But no, no, nah, he's, he's just a cunt. So, um, no pity. He is the worst Mario brother by far, yeah. I wonder what Bruno's Luigi would be called. The better question is, why am I still playing this? Lance? Julio? Levitation Land. Oh, is that the name of it? Levitation Land? Devilish Candy House is next. No, it's not. How about Devilish Cooking? So we're not doing Devilish Cooking either. Um, how about Devilish Pet Salon? It's probably not going to load. Oh, failed. This is probably for the best. Devilish Stylist. Now, this is a series. This is the, you got a quadrilogy here in the Devilish franchise. The Devilish Cinematic Universe. How about Era's Adventures 3D? You remember our old pal, Era? An additional 100 megabytes of game content? Are you fucking kidding me? The resources could not be found. Dr. Ninja is next. Oh my god, did you see that? Oh my fucking god. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a glorious day. You had everything. You had a bootleg ninja turtle, you had dubstep, and you had an ad. Isn't this just like Spider Hero? Also, this this fucking typeface is awful. The spacing is so fucking bad. If the civilian is not feeling better, take her to the nearest hospital. Yeah, this is like Spider Hero. This is exactly Spider Hero. And of course, there's a, a fly button. So many of these games have to have fly button. Oh my god. It's just Cup. It's Cup Hero Friend again. Mother of fuck! When anyone asks you how you spend your Sunday nights, just show them the Twitch clip of this. That's, of course, if you want one less friend. I'm here. Your flying blue savior has arrived. What's up, boo? You ready? It's time for some CPR. Oh, no, it's not. It's time for Candy Crush. Time's up. All right. Yeah, just walking through fucking ambulance. Love it! Big Farm Mobile Harvest. Good game. From Good Game. I guess if you're gonna start a game development studio, call yourselves Good Game. So that way they know what they're getting. Sort. Oh, look at that attack level. Wow. Hey guys. Right. Yeah, if you want a free day spinner, first watch this ad. Okay. Okay. I'll wait until you see. I got one that's amazing. Evil Mansion Survival Escape. So, the, the one after this is perhaps the best combination of things I've ever seen in my life. This seems to be a Resident Evil 7 parody. Evil Mansion Survival Escape. 
But motherfucker, we we just we just watched an ad. I want you to know, I go to the I go to another place when an ad plays. Like I'm not here for all intents and purposes. I go to a sunken place. A very a very far away place so that I don't have to physically mentally be available for such things. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's an ad right here. What's that? You want to play the game or you can press the ad button for a fucking half white monkey slash ma muscular swole man. Ah! This is the worst one yet. Why one of my commands is throw a baseball. These are just pictures of someone playing baseball. So it's making me do one of these puzzles where you have to untangle the wires, I guess. Is it worth it? Should I spend my my time and energy actually trying to do this? I mean, I'm just not... I'm not hopeful. I don't know, I was kind of hoping maybe I could just watch an ad instead. You know, you could solve puzzle or you can watch an ad to unlock puzzle instantly. Instantaneously. I'm- yeah, Bob. Me too, man. Me too, Bob. They're still making Angry Birds. I'm so sorry, everyone. I take full Angry personal birds. responsibility. I'm very uncomfortable with this. Oh my god, Bob! Me too! Oh my god, Bob! Fat... Fats... <laughs> what? Is that staph infection? Fast. This is officially 75% ads, 25% game. This needs to stop. Seriously, when I see people complaining... ...about... ...some stuff, like minor stuff... ...like expansion packs... ...or like, game over, retry or watch an ad. When I see people complaining... ...about stuff... ...that... ...pales in comparison... ...to shit like this... Where it's like, watch an ad to recover. I'm like, man, it gets so much worse. It gets so much worse on the phone. There needs to be some kind of fucking regulations for shit like this. Fidget neighbor. And I'm not even defending loot crates. No way. But man, it just gets so much worse. So fidget neighbor, here's the best concept for a game probably ever. Oh, it's a work of fiction. Thank you for that information. Look at that fidget neighbor. Reminds me a lot of Jack Nicholson from The Shining. But, you know, put a mustache on him just in case. He's gonna fidget though, man. This motherfucker is gonna fidget so hard. He just loves to fidget. I mean, he's just a misunderstood dude. Fuck! Excellent. Yep. I've been streaming for seven and a half years. I've been incredulous. I've been utterly surprised, shocked. On so many occasions. This is a night I'll remember forever. Seven years I've been streaming. I thought nothing would shock me anymore. I'm fucking shocked! Oh... Oh, and, and it's a quality game on top of all the, the, the other stuff. Look at the quality! Yes, please. Please, let me throw myself off the world. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. For there is hope. Oh boy. What original game does this remind you of? Nothing, because this is totally unique. There's only two characters, though. There's Scout from TF2. With a big tube of toothpaste. <laughs> uh, oh, this is online? No, there can't be- no, 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 no. I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe that there are six other people in the world playing this right now. I can't accept that. Oh my god! Oh my god! There really are other people playing this! The sad thing is this is one of the better games I played tonight. It really is. I mean, it's still shit, but it, the minimap works. I can attack, I can kill. The matchmaking was quick. Wow. 
I can't believe I'm defending this game. Make no mistake, this is the very opposite of fun. I've tried inking my spawn. I mean, graffitiing my spawn, because remember, this is called Graffiti Stars. I mean, color me surprised. It's actually not complete shit. Um, Hard Time is actually a good PC game. Okay, so this is really based on Hard Time. This isn't a bootleg. This does not appear to be a good version of this. <laughs> what is it? How is this guy got a gun in prison? Yeah, fucking rowdy rowdy Piper suplex. Excellent. <laughs> I can't get up. Why did I explode? Why did we explode? Whoa, what? How'd this happen? Oh, I'm fucking dead now. <laughs> what, what the fuck? Why is Judge Dredd? Why is Judge Dredd prosecuting me? Stone Malone. Stone Malone? Why would I be doing poses, like wrestling poses? <laughs> oh, this music. This is called Hello Neighbor. Gameplay. It's the neighbor from Hello Neighbor in a car. Unbelievable. I, I am actually filled with hatred. I'm filled with much hatred. For a lot of things. Jeff the Killer Burn is the name of this one. We've, we've seen the Jeff the Killer thing before. Apparently it's a character. People like this character. It shows up. What? It wants me to install Instagram. Oh, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Yes. <laughs> I refuse to be a part of this advertising. So hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good night. I'm not. Oh, oh, this is going to play like hot garbage. Awesome. Is that Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics? Yes, it is. Here's an ad. Why is this advertising, like, apps that most people have? Like, you, you would think fucking Facebook could advertise on something other than this. Oh my gosh, I just got ambushed by another player. They have less soldiers than- Okay, no. No, I'm, we're good. Wait, there's another Jeff the Killer. Jeff the Killer Late Night. It doesn't load. It says it's loading, and then it doesn't. How about Killer Clown Simulator 2017? This sounds perfect for the Vine Saw stream. Look at that title screen. Oh wait, no, no. Instead, look at this other game that you could be playing right now instead of this. Wow, I can unlock yellow by watching a video. I seriously, I, like I, I, my heart bleeds for the generation of kids that grow up with these games, thinking that this is like, like, you know, their parents won't buy them a console. They only play games on their phone, and they just play this kind of stuff, and they think this is what video games are. Like, I am genuinely don't mean that as a joke. I am so, so sorry. I can see games like this totally... just like... dozens, hundreds of games like this being on someone's phone. Some kid, six, seven, eight years old, Plays it for 10 minutes, watches the ads, gets bored, moves on. Like, pretty much exactly what I'm doing, but not ironically. <laughs> you know, like, they stop paying attention in school. Their attention span is short. 
It's all over the place. Nothing really gives them joy because they just keep moving from dopamine hit to dopamine hit. Killer clown game to killer clown game. Never fully investing themselves in a thing. Never spending more than a couple minutes of attention on anything in life because of stuff like this. Maybe I'm overestimating the importance of shitty mobile games. I'm gonna lift a car now? Yep. This is Killer Clown Simulator. This is what killer clowns do. Wow. This is what killer clowns can do. Someone said, Vinny, you realize a lot of kids our generation grew up with Tiger Electronics, yes? Tiger Electronics were even a step a little bit above this, but I'd say that you only got like one or two. I remember playing my shitty Mega Man Tiger Electronics game over and over and over again. You know, I, I couldn't just not play it, move on to the next thing, watch an ad for another thing. Like, I had to actually, you know, I kind of had to play the game because, you know, you only had a couple games. There wasn't, like, an infinite wealth of shitty, like, cotton-paste, terrible games. Nope, I am certainly not enjoying Killer Clown Simulator. Okay, let's kill Jeff the Killer, Chapter 2. Knife mode? Gun mode? I thought that's a dry mode. It's gonna sound like we're going in dry. Is Bruno Kitty, Mars saying motherfucker when I hear that ad? Did you hear that ambience? That is the ambience of the Enterprise D on Star Trek TNG. Really, it is. That's that's the fucking ambience that you hear when you watch Star Trek Next Generation. Others in chat have recognized it as well. But why? Why why is a house a shitty dark house? Sounding like a starship. Let's kill Jeff the Killer. Let's kill mobile games. Scare yet? Beware. You're for a scare, brew. Scares ya. Oh, I gotcha. Little kids singing right around the Rosie. It's really scary. I've had enough. Sponsored by Intel, man, they've. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Is this what Intel's up to these days? It wants a username and password. And then it just logged me out when I entered one. It's f never fucking mind then. Would you perhaps prefer Mutant Ninja Toad instead? Oh my god. Look, he's got nipples! Why does he have nipples? I don't even care if the game never loads. I've seen enough. We're gonna wait. I, I like this character model so much that I'm actually going to wait. Still loading. Still loading. 10 more seconds. Downloading social security. Look at the frog nipple while we download your personal information. <sighs> neighbor escape. We're still doing more neighbor games. There's plenty of neighbor games. Just in case you got bored and you wanted more neighbor games, they exist. Oh look, it's the same neighbor from before. Oh, this is the worst controls yet for first person. Oh my god. <sighs> Looks like an old Edward Norton. Like a caricature of Fight Club Edward Norton. As an old person. Well, listen. You may say to yourself, we've seen it all. The Neighbor series could not possibly have any more games in it. What else could they do? We've seen glorious game after glorious game. No, we haven't. There is Neighbor Heart Surgery. <laughs> I, love, I love the intro screen. It gives you everything you need to know. This dude is eating bottles. Apples, bananas, he's eating everything and he's having heart problems, and I, as the concerned neighbor, just want to help. Oh, fuck. Your friendly neighbor was just watching some trash television. What? What is- oh, what the fuck? That's kind of weird, man. Why are you watching that stuff? When suddenly... The tea got too hot. 
<laughs> oh, oh, it's really dramatic. Well, he's still got time to catch the tea. Or coffee. Oh my god. Oh my god. I kind of really feel bad for this neighbor now. Because this isn't the same one that caused me all that torment. This is a different one. Well, we gotta, we gotta do some ambulance treatment. Um, I'm sorry, what? No, I'm good. No, I don't think I want to need uh, learn more about drill bits. Oddly specific piece of marketing. Is that it? This is the game? The dude wants things, I give them to him, and he does the work. I just find the object game. What is that? An egg? May I offer you a nice egg? In these trying time? No, it's cotton. Mistakes were made. I couldn't- I actually was looking for just the size- something the size of that object. It turns out it was a big old cotton tree. Uh... Where did we get a new flap of skin from? What the fuck kind of surgery is this? Just wanted to end, please. No, no, we did- we just watched the advertisement. Maybe I should just quit now. Call the game goodbye, neighbor. No, well now, now we gotta do the open heart surgery. I can't just- I can't just leave the neighbor hanging. You too, Lego. You- you got like four shows on Disney. You need more? You need more money? And nipples. Fuck, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna rate this game. Oh no, I'm not, because here's another ad. I was gonna rate your fucking game, and now you're showing me an ad? Here's one bonus game. Super Bono Odyssey. Who's- who's that? That's Bono. And just- there's, there's no letter on this particular unknown brother. This brother is totally unknown to the fa to the point where he doesn't even have- he doesn't even have a letter. Oh my god, that's brutal. <laughs> Unbelievable. The, the, by the way, I'm not kidding, the name of this game is really- Where'd you come from, asshole? The name of this game is legitimately Super Bono Odyssey. Uno, dos, tres, catorce! Yo, Mari- uh, sorry, Bono- Bono is kinda dabbing. 